you know, psychedelics, meditation, and so on, they're changing the parameters of your world simulation. But that doesn't mean that you're really accessing kind of like other realms outside of you, right? Like, I think you're accessing in some sense different realms of consciousness, which is different phases of consciousness. It's similar to how there's like phases of matter. You can have like liquid, solid, air, and so on. My my sense is that, you know, different states of consciousness are kind of the different phases of consciousness. Um, maybe the the, uh, the the punchline or kind of like the, <laughs> the spoiler here is that I actually think that these are phases of a liquid crystal. Um, they're like probably, you know, <laughs> not to, to sound too much like a crackpot, but like, you know, probably, you know, uh, Penrose and Hameroff and people who believe that microtubules have something to do with consciousness, I think they're probably right. Not not in the full theory, but I, I do think microtubules probably will end up being really significant for understanding our state of consciousness. And the reason I believe that is that they, they effectively instantiate a liquid crystal.